Hi everyone, Mary Meet. Um, it is me, the Lone Wolf, also known as Michael. Um, whoa, that's a stocky shuffle. Um, so today we're gonna do an October forecast. This will be a pick a crystal reading. Um, although I don't know which crystals to choose, let me choose them. So this will be a pick a card reading, but we'll the piles will be um, the piles will be. The piles will be chosen by crystals, so I don't know how to word that. Um, yeah, I was there. I'm, I'm thinking either we're using runes for today. We're using runes to do a forecast, which is I'm very new at it. I'm not too sure about how to work with them, but I will try my best. And there'll be it'll be a shorter reading since it's kind of late at night for me now. Or we can do tarot. But what I'm thinking is that I will use runes, R runes for right now. So let's just get a crystal. Uh, let's see. Monkey cords. Okay. Three crystals. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so for the first pile, we have Smoky Quartz. Now, Smoky Quartz is a crystal that is very grounding. The energy of Smoky Quartz is very slow, and um, not not calling it slow or dumb, but I mean the energy is like a very slow, gentle energy, very gradually growing into you. So it would take a lot more work to get into Smoky Quartz if you wanted this energy. But once the energy once the energy finally unblocks something in your root chakra, boom. Kundalini rises, you are full of energy, all the negativity is transmuted, your anger is gone. And this crystal works very well with anger and bursts of anger. This crystal also, Smoky Quartz, tends to absorb a lot of negative energy really intensely to the point that it has to be cleansed daily, if not twice daily or more. This crystal is great for absorbing negative energy. And that's pile number one. Pile number two, we have, I'm not so sure. Oh, yes, I am sure. Uh, we have Black Obsidian. Now this crystal and the Smoky Quartz that I have here are from um, a bullion set. A bu a ra I got it from Rainbow Spirits UK. It's a bullion set. So like basically it's crystals to help protect you from bullies. I got it because I felt really bullied by my own thoughts. And I was like, hey, this kind of works. So, And it did kind of work pretty much. Where crystals work for me. I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> um, so yeah, pile number two will be Black Obsidian. Bl whoops. Black Obsidian is a very grounding crystal as well. It resonates with the chakra of the earth star chakra and the root star root, root chakra. Earth star chakra, which is below six inches below your feet, six inches to about a foot below your feet, and it also resonates with the with the earth um, root chakra as well as maybe a little bit sacral. Black obsidian it can be a very intense and strong stone. People who 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 use black obsidian have been noted to have very extreme um, reactions to it, maybe it's a little too intense as it brings out all negativity to the surface for it to be healed and transmuted into light. Black Obsidian is a very ruthless healer, as in it doesn't take gentleness by its side. And Black Obsidian is really strong protective stone as well. It can be paired with Black, Ob Black Tourmaline to create an even more grounding effect and for um, the, most, the best amount of protection you can get. Uh, obsidian is actually not a true crystal, but actually dried volcanic lava. That um, it's it's made up of what's the word I'm looking for? Um, black obsidian is a stone that cools off. It's cooled off. It cools off really fast after an eruption. Uh, lava, it cools off and it turns into this glass. It's actually volcanic glass, which 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 is what the black obsidian is. It's a volcanic glass. It's a type of glass. Technically, technic, technically it's kind of like Moldavite, since Moldavite is glass as well. And it, and it, they both form since they um, they cool down fast enough and created crystals out of them. But they're not true crystals, like basically with the lattice structure and everything. But anyways, and that's for pile number two. So pile number one, smoky quartz. Pile number two, black obsidian. And pile number three, we have this beautiful moss agate. It's a my agate that I have right my uh, moss agate that I have right now. It doesn't have that many beautiful shapes and decoration thing, but I, I did re I, I posted a on my own Facebook account um, a garden 
garden moss agate, green moss agate, something like that. It's a it's a different type of moss agate, but moss agate is a very grounding stone as well. So basically, the theme for today is grounding, lots of grounding. But this is my pile number three. Pile number three is you are the moss, moss agate stone. Moss agate is also known as the gardener stone. This stone is great for agriculture, agriculture and gardening, and any any uh, educational activity that you may do, like going to school for gardening or agriculture, anything to do about plants, get yourself this stone, and this stone will help you out uh, have an abundance crop uh, uh, and harvest an abundance in your crops and your in your gardening as well. This stone also connects to the fairies, to the divas. To the matriarchal system of of divas and um and of um fairies and nature spirits. So this stone is great for attracting fairies and nature spirits, including the divas, and to help you be one with Mother Nature. This stone is a heart chakra stone, so it connects you to Mother Earth, and it's also uh not I'm not sure if everyone knows, but moth agate is a good money stone. This um it attracts lots of financial wealth and abundance because abundance of the earth, abundance of the fruits and plants is also abundance in wealth and money, financial uh, financial situations as well. So that's pile number three. So we have three grounding stones. We have smoky quartz, that's pile number one. We have black obsidian, that's pile number two. And we have moss agate, that's pile number three. Now, pick whatever crystal uh, resonates with you. I, I will actually uh, take some time right now to look up the rune meanings because I haven't practiced that well. But <laughs> rune meanings, okay. Okay. Now we're going to do a very simple method. <sighs> a very simple, simple method. I'm just gonna pick um, one crystal per pile, and it'll be a very short reading. But I'm gonna read intuitively, so it may be a little bit longer than expected. But let's just go with it. So, pile number one. If you pick, my, okay. So now we're going to the pile. Pile number one. If you pick smoky quartz, welcome to your reading. Now, pile number one. If you pick pile number one, I feel like you're having a. Um, I feel like you're having a very calm time in your life. Very calm, very soft and gentle. Not much stuff to bother about. And you just want to know what's what's going on for the rest of the month. For October, before Halloween. So, cause I feel like you're going to have a very festive Halloween. A very happy new year for yourself. Well, if you're a witch, a happy new year. But if, for everyone else, or if you celebrate Halloween as a new year anyways. But anyways, <laughs> you're going to have a good time during Halloween. Towards the end of the October. Because it gets started with a lot. I see lots of family for you. So, let's see. Spirit, Actually, let me ask my deity, Hecate, sorry Spirit, thank you Spirit, hi, <laughs> Hecate, what messages do you bring for October, for this October, what messages do you bring for this October? Okay, so we have this one. Let me check. I think it's reversed. It would came out reversed. So let's see. For October, my pile number ones. We. I'll, I'll show you right now the. Yeah, we got the Urus. Urus ox, and uh, it's upside down. It's reversed. It's called Urus. It's also called ox. Let me read you the meaning about it. And it's reversed. The way I got it was reversed, and I am reading reverse right now. Or should I? Should I? Should I? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm reading reverse because it's a part of it. Um, so, Urus is the second. Urus. It's representation. It's where it's representative of the wild bull. This is a stone of strength, endurance, hard work, perseverance. Motivation and determination and can indicate a time of great energy speed and health. It also shows increasing power and masculinity Reverse which is what we got reverse. It may indicate a loss of health endurance a blockage dominance of others over you or misdirected force So the key words are strength endurance health courage vigor vitality for force and perseverance so I got it reversed and what this means to me 
is that with your with your and I'm gonna read it just the way that I read with tarot card when I read reversals. This could be that you have a blockage this October, this October. But because we're trying to make it more positive, you have a challenge and a good challenge. I see challenges that says a great invitation from the universe saying, "Hey, I think you're really good at this. Why don't you take this a little step further into your practice, into your life? Let's challenge ourselves and grow a little bit stronger, just like plants." And just like smoky quartz, honestly, just like smoky quartz would want, smoky quartz is very gradual. It's a very small, small increment type of thing that when it, once it hits you full force, you are amazed at how grounded you are, how much more happier you are, the good energy that you have, your kundalini rises. You may have even uh, spiritual awakening or spiritual awakenings or spirit, uh, ascension symptoms and experiences, awakenings. Um, so I'm seeing that this October, pile number one, what, not yes, there's a challenge in life and to be positive, but all, you may also be have a loss of health. So it's time to work on your health, work on your health and your endurance and your exercising. Make sure you're eating healthy, drinking lots of water, having socialization with family members, reaching out to a friends and family to go out and have fun, maybe just on the phone, maybe to a park, maybe. And uh, I also feel like pound number one, Hecate is telling you to take some time to go into nature, spend some time in nature and feel yourself be healed by the, of that blockage. Be healed of the of the over masculine energy. You need some deep feminine um healing. Now, I also feel like uh, there's a someone on this someone on pot number one might be saying that um might be thinking that you know I don't need therapy. I don't need help. I don't need. But God, every goddess needs therapy as well too. Every goddess can use a little bit of self tender love and care as well. Even Hecate has to get her own care as well. I mean. Even if it's just self-care, just one small thing, that should be good. Also, for my pound number one, I feel like you're going to honor an ancestor or a loved one. I feel like also uh, Hecate is guiding you to help, um, to help you, uh, what's, <laughs> honoring your ancestors, there we go. Honoring your ancestors. I feel like that's a message for you guys. Um, I also feel for my pound number ones, in a sense, that you're learning through personal, per your personal strength. You may be feeling weak inside, but or on uh, external ex external situations are making you feel weak or with ill health. I feel like this October you're going to be taught lessons and how to be strong within yourself, how to endure the worst of your inner thoughts and beliefs, how to change these beliefs and manifest positivity in your life. I feel like you're going to find the personal strength and perseverance and willpower to make your dreams come true. It, I feel like you're being called to a certain path. And you're trying your best to make it happen, but there's some blockages and obstacles. I feel like if you did some Reiki healing or some some sort of some sort of extra work of healing, you will get to the next point of your life. You'll find yourself as being the healer themselves. After you heal yourself, you are the healer, and you can heal others as well. Pile number one, thank you so much for being here. Now let's move on to pile number two. Pile number two, if you chose this black obsidian. I feel like you've been grieving a lot. And this crystal just got chipped. I didn't even realize it was chipped. But yeah. Uh, pile number two is you chose black obsidian. Black obsidian, again, I, I feel like my, my, black, my pile number two is your energy is very dark right now. We are getting darker and darker as the season goes by for the nor northern hemisphere. As, as the fall goes through and we go ahead into winter, we're going to get to the darkest night of the year. I feel like shadow work is really going to be a big thing for you this uh, this uh, this October. So, Hecate, what messages do you have for pile number two for October? How would our public be, Hecate? So, I get in a lump in my throat. I think that should be the right one. Oh! Wow! Um, this happens to me quite a few times already. Um, we got the Odin stone, which is a blank stone. So, and I am going to talk about it, even though if it's a blank stone. Usually it's called Odin's rune. So let me read you the description that I have here. As mentioned, some sets come with an optional blank rune, indicating the Norse god of creation secrets to be withheld. It reflects that we are not supposed to have all the answers and that that's okay. As such, its meanings are unknown, secrets, hidden, mystery, ambiguous, unknowable. The answer will, re will, will reveal itself in time. So my interpretation of that, although it doesn't have to be an interpretation, it can be taken literally. I really feel like Hecate is saying, this is the high priestess. 
hyper mode, you're in high priestess mode, and you're not going to be shown exactly everything. I feel like you have a blindfold over you. Maybe the eight of swords, maybe two of swords, maybe high priestess. I feel like you're just like blindfolded and not allowed to see what's going to happen. But you're just kind of going to have to. I feel like you're going to have to trust spirit, trust Hecate, trust your goddess and gods and deities and spirits and angels. Um, trust them and take the first step into taking a leap of faith. I feel October is all about secrets being brought out into the open. You witnessing and experiencing firsthand the magic of life, the magic of the darkness. I feel like you will be shown all the darkness that is within you. And because we have Black Obsidian here, I do feel that um, some of these traumas we're gonna, are going to come up through therapy or something. You're going to have to relive it again and, and yes, hash it out with your therapist and just have a good time trying to heal yourself and find solutions. Um, and find maybe just, if not a solution, maybe just another form of happiness, another way of being happy, your your new happiness. So I feel like you're going to be very passionate about something that you do, but that's about it that I'm getting for pile number two. Um, anything else, Hegatine? Anything else? So I think that's it. I think that's it, guys, for pile number two. Um, sorry I didn't get that much, but I feel like you would, you, you're gonna go, you're gonna go on for a wild adventure, is what I'm seeing for October for you, Mopana Bruce 2. A wild adventure, and you're gonna have so much fun. So that's pile number two. That's Odin's rune. So, um, I also, he, I got a message, because I know, I was just watching Thor Love and Thunder. Um, I got a message, something about your eye, maybe you have pink eye, or maybe you have, um, Something about Odin's eye. They just mentioned Odin's eye. Odin's eye, just like the movie. So take care of your vision. Take care of your health as well. I also see um. I also see you, you may you may know some things before they happen, but the full story won't come out till later in October. So let's just see what is you know a fun adventure. It might be someone's birthday. Pound number two. So thank you so much. Pound number two and blessed be. Pound number threes. You are my moss agates. Now, if you pick moss agates, you may be someone who loves nature. You may have a healing green aura. You may be someone who's called into the to the the workforce of being an education. You may want to be a teacher. There we go. You want to be a teacher. Wow, my work is really bunched up today. <laughs> but you may want to be a teacher. You may want to be um. You may also be called to gardening or nature work or something to do with nature. Um, I definitely feel abundance is there for you. I feel right now you're going through a good time as you start October, and I definitely feel you're going to be at peace soon. So heck, let's get into your reading. Hecate, what do you have? What what's in store for Pound Number Three October? Hecate, what's in store for Pound Number Three October? Hecate, what's in store for Pound Number Three October? Okay, dig in there. There we go. Okay, so we got it upright. Uh, I've seen this one before. Thank you, thank you for uh, for your patience, guys. I'm still learning how to read this. I think it's called Manas, which means man. You got the rune. I'll show it to you right now. Here it is. This is the rune that you got, and you see the runes are rose quartz crystals engraved with the runes on the rune symbols on the 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 the, 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 the language. Yeah, <laughs> the alphabet. <laughs> Um, and please forgive me, this is my first real time using runes like this in a reading. I'm still learning how to use runes. I'm sorry if I'm not very great at it, but hey, I'm still learning. I'm willing to do the work. Putting it out there. This is how I learn anyways, by just doing it. I'll just doing it and just keep going. Um, so yeah, thank you for your patience, guys, and for understanding. So, for your October, we got the rune that means man. Manas, man. Manas is representative of humankind and humanity. It encompasses yourself and identity and relationship toward others. It is social order and cooperation, our sense of morals and values. Reverse, it can indicate self-delusion, manipulation, and isolation. We got it upright, so you're gonna have, ooh, upright, you're gonna have something good and positive happen to you this October. The key words are humanity, collective, mortality, community, relationships, morals, and values. So I feel like my partner number three, you guys are very, almost, some of you may be being a little bit more conservative in your in your stance and in your way of life. I also feel like my pile number three, you may be living life on the edge and being called in from your families and friends saying, hey, maybe you're going too far out with these things. I would recommend that you listen to your own intuition and be yourself. Don't give up the true light that you are within. I feel like this October, you're being called out by something to like, t almost like take a leap of faith, but like, I just noticed my room is 
Oh, that's interesting. The room that I have here, the engraving is a little bit farther to one side than the other. I don't know if you can tell right here by this little thing here. It's like, it's not exactly centered. Yeah, it's a little bit more to the right. Um, so yeah, I want my pile, my pile number three. I want you to know that you will have many blessings and positive activities this October. I see pumpkin patches. I see lots of exploration. I see lots of good energy. I also see love is very positive for you. Love will, uh, when you're in, when everything about love and romance in the in October will be very good for you. I see lots of communication and I see freedom. I see resolutions to things and endings. Um, I feel like a gypsy right now. Reading these things. I don't know why I thought of that right now. Um, that was weird. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I felt, I felt like a gypsy out of nowhere. Um, don't know what that means. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so pile number three, I do feel, um, masculine energy. So the first pile, what pile number one was all about uh, feminine energy. Pile number three is about masculine energy. I feel masculine energy. Maybe you're being called to do physical work with other people. Maybe you're called to cooperate and work with others in a team. Maybe this October you're going to have to work with others and ha see, see what else you can do with them. Um... I feel like you're being called to do work with family. You're gonna have to like follow the rules, and you want to break out of it badly. But I feel like you're gonna have to uh, find your own truth. Is what I feel like. It's you're gonna have to find your own truth and speak that truth and be true to yourself and to others. So I definitely feel like you are a hardworking person. You may be someone who works in the field of law, or the or as um, of justice the justice system or something like that. Maybe like policeman or something. I feel like Archangel Michael is working with you really directly with you. Um, you may be someone who prays to. Uh, Archangel Michael or the angels all the time. So I just know if your loved ones and guides and angels are always with you, they'll always stay with you, and they're going to guide you through everything. So thank you. So that was it for my pile number three. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for this beautiful reading. Uh, I hope something <laughs> made sense. That was my first time doing a room reading. It was so easy and fun. Um, thank you for coming by, and that was your October forecast. It wasn't that long, wasn't that fancy. Um, I just have one more thing before we go. I do want to use my tarot card real fast. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to ask uh, Hecate if there are any specific messages about October. So, Hecate, do you have any specific messages for about October? We're going to look at three possible, uh, Outcomes, okay? For pile number one, pile two, number three. Possible outcomes of October. So, almost done. Almost done, guys. Ooh! Cards are falling. That's a good sign. Cards are definitely falling. That's how you can tell me to stop. I just saw the justice card. Okay, so... It's a little more shuffling. Possible outcomes for pile number one, two, and three. Uh, we won't take that one. Thank you. Uh, bottom deck energy, king of pentacles reversed. Um, coming to the end of something. Maybe facing some harsh truths for someone. I don't know. But let's check out the outcome. That's what we're going to look at. Uh, outcome for October for pile number one. We have... S wow, smoke and mirrors. Like smoky quartz. Smoke and mirrors. We got the seven of cups. So my pile number one, your uh, your outcome might be that you may be giving so many gifts and opportunities to the fogginess. You may be having fogginess throughout the entire month. I feel like you're coming out of it, though. I feel like you're coming out of this great fogginess. That smoke around here, like the fogginess and smoke in your mind. There may be rituals. I feel like you're giving options. You're giving lots of options, and you're not sure which one to choose. I feel like... You're gonna have to step back and take a ground and pose and like maybe even go to deep meditation to find out what what is true for you. Um, Seven of Cups also means wish fulfillment for some people in the most positive sense. So there may be some form of wish fulfillment this October. So that's for pile number one. That's your outcome. I also see something about a 
relationships, lots of communication involved. So pile number two, we have the four of pentacles reversed. So this is inner journey into finding, uh, letting into an in inner journey of letting go and surrendering. Pile number two, you may have some blockages that you have to heal from, and that black obsidian might be able to help you with as well to to quickly uh, heal yourself and further yourself on your on your journey in life on your spiritual path. I also feel like for my pile number two, the possible outcome for this is that you may have something negative happen, but you're not going to give up. You're going to continue trying, and you're still going to grab grab life by the horns and take it as you will. So that's for pile number two. Pile number three, we have another reverse. Major life events happening for you this October. I feel like all the negativity is being all the all the things that were silent are being shown to you. What's are being sh revealed to you this this October? I also feel by the end of October you're gonna have. I think the full moon is something very important to you. If I think you might have to do a, a full moon ritual or meditation or some work with the moon, um, you know, with gardening, like the moss agate that I showed you, gardening has something to do with the moon as well because plants are made up of a lot, mostly of water and and other ingredients, but mainly water. So gardening might actually be something for you to do with the moon because there's even the farmer's almanacs, al al almanacs. Uh, Alamex, <laughs> uh, yeah, those things uh, have something about the, have moon cycles in them, written inside, so you can totally do something with the moon in your gardening at the time. Maybe you want to start a moon garden; that'd be very pretty and nice, or a fairy garden. Also, the moon reverse tells me that um, you're on a new path and you're going to self-discovery and self-awareness. It's gonna come something something that, that you wish for is coming true. So. Thank you, my uh, pile number one, two, and three. Thank you, everyone, for this beautiful October reading. Uh, as a final message from Spirit, anything out uh, from Hecate, anything like that? Yeah. Follow your heart. Follow your heart and um, be good to be good to each other. Be good to ourselves. Have a beautiful, beautiful October. Be good to each other. Be good to ourselves. To your, be good to each other, be good to yourself, be good to your family, and eat healthy, drink water, eat lots of fruit, and most definitely, everyone, have a beautiful and fun and spooky October. Blessed be everyone, and merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Bye.